third week of March 2017. Back in September of 2015, some of you may recall this story and video capture of what they call the mystery planet floating above the sun. The short video clip, which was posted on YouTube, was believed to have been taken in Florida and apparently was showing a huge, brightly shining planet-like object in the sky as the sun was setting. The sky watcher zeroes in on the unusual orb and then the camera focuses on what is unmistakably the moon on the other side of the sky. The camera then pans back across to the sun and the brilliantly bright orb is still there just above and to the left of the sun. The video was viewed tens of thousands of times on YouTube, but still today there is no explanation of what the planet is or how it could have appeared. Commenters on the site gave various explanations for this sighting, the usual litany of this is what it is, without providing any evidence to substantiate their claims. Whether in support or in denial of the strange sighting in the sky, there is obviously something very strange and still unexplained about what's appearing in the skies all over the world. So here is the short video clip. Watch and listen carefully to what the sky observer has to say. Okay, so here I am out here in September, and as you can see, there's obviously a really very clear planet that is right north of the sun. And while I would love to say it was the moon, but since the moon happens to be right here on the opposite side, there's no way it is. And since we all have been taught in school that Mercury and Venus do not show up, oh, just look at that planet just beaming and shining right now. Somebody tell me what it is. You may be amazed at this just as this person was, or maybe not. What we see and what we believe to be real is and always will be in the eyes of the beholder. Yes, there is a great deal of speculation. Everyone formulates their own opinions and ideas, but nothing is really set in stone. There is a scientific way of looking at the world, and there's a religious way, and the two very seldom intertwine. Each is unique in its own theories and beliefs, but it's really up to each one of us to determine what is real and what isn't. So here we are in 2017, and what do we see? The sky anomalies continue to increase. Our weather is more extreme than it has ever been. The crust of the earth continues to warm, causing ever-increasing volcanic activity. Even those that have been dormant for hundreds, even thousands of years, are suddenly roaring to life. The earth is opening, causing massive fissures to spread across the land while the earth is in the midst of a sinkhole apocalypse. We know that all of these events are happening on a grand scale. What we don't know for certainty is what lies at the wake of these momentous events. Why are all of these sudden changes taking place at this time? Why is it that no one seems to have a real answer that can be accepted by both the scientific and the religious communities? I've mentioned on numerous occasions that the surest and most convincing way to determine if something ominous is approaching the Earth is to continue observing the numbers and the severity of seismic and volcanic events. The more violent they may be and the higher the frequency of occurrence, this will be an indicator on whether there is an outside influence that is disturbing the magnetic core of our Earth and thus causing a collapse of the magnetosphere and the protective shield that surrounds our planet. If there is such a force, it will create a tilt of the Earth's axis, thus creating a wobbling effect, which will lead to odd weather patterns around the globe, such as what we saw this winter in places like the southern Mediterranean islands, the Arabian desert, and in New Zealand, where record amounts of snow were recorded. If we are to accept that global warming is real, then we must determine if the change in climate conditions is the result of man-made polluting of the air, 
chemtrailing, and various forms of weather manipulation, or whether there is an outside force at work causing these sudden and drastic changes to occur. There is another more important matter that is weighing on the minds of many scientists at this time, and that has to do with mass extinction. With the sudden surge in extreme weather and violent earth changes, there is a growing consensus that the earth is spiraling out of control. It's heading towards an inevitable decline of plant and animal life, which will lead to famine and disease among the world's most populous communities and countries on this planet. It's already happening. Humans, through their own lack of knowledge and understanding, and by the consequences of their actions, are powerless to stop it from happening. So in essence, if you do not have the eyes to see what is happening, then you are blind to everything that is taking place in the world around you. Periodic mass extinctions have happened on Earth as indicated in the global fossil records. And according to at least one astrophysicist and scientist, it could be linked to a suspected rogue planet. How ironic that the new information that is being leaked to the public through various sources seem to indicate that an exoplanet or a binary star system is responsible for many of the events that took place in our Earth's history. The new information pertaining to a Planet 9 or one that resembles Nibiru is more mysterious than its own origins. After all, not too many people know the true details of Nibiru and why it exists in our solar system. It all tends to coincide with what happened in the Earth's past and what is happening now. Dr. Makeo Kaku, a renowned physicist, has brought attention to the very real possibility of another mass extinction in our future. Now, he makes no mention of exoplanets as a determining factor in his interpretation, but the fact that our planet is in dire straits are emphasized in his comments in a way that many of us can understand and agree with. Let's listen in. Well, so far, if you analyze the last few hundred years of life on the Earth, human activity apparently has wiped out 1.4% of all plant and animal species, and it is 100 to 1,000 times faster than normal because of human population, uh, development, pollution, over-harvesting. And if you take a look at a zoo, uh, many of the zoo animals that our children love, mm -hmm we may find them going extinct. Uh, the tiger, for example, uh, may go extinct. Many of the familiar zoo animals, bears, and realize that 18,000 species are at risk. Uh, climate change is also involved in this thing. Independent of where climate change comes from, right. we see that the seasons are changing. Summers are getting longer. Uh, winters are getting shorter on average. And we always say that the early bird catches the worm, but that <laughs> assumes that the worm and the bird are synchronized. Uh -huh. Many of these cycles, the natural cycles, are being thrown into disarray, meaning, for example, droughts in China going on right now, yeah. uh, perhaps famine in certain areas. So we humans cannot be divorced from what's happening in the natural world. Well, evolution says survival of the fittest, and so mm -hmm. far we humans are among the fittest. But we are also at the top of the food chain, the top of the pyramid, and it wouldn't take much to dislodge us from being at the top of the food chain. Well, in science fiction, of course, uh, the insects take over. But look at something very simple. Uh, we are dependent on just a few crops, uh, wheat, rice, um, and if, just a few crops, and if a blight were to wipe out these crops, then a huge chunk of humanity would starve to death because yes. we're so dependent on just a few plants and animals for our existence. We should be wary of over-harvesting. For example, over-harvesting the oceans. Uh, we have drag nets, which in principle could drag the entire oceans. That's how efficient our technology is. Also, wheat production we have to worry about because water. Water is the key to wheat production, and there are going to be perhaps water wars in the future. Well, there will always be water on the earth. The question is the cost and what it would take to extract it, to desalinate it, to divert it, to irrigate. 
And so the cost of certain kinds of commodities could start to rise. So just because we're the, at the top of the right. food chain doesn't mean that we're invulnerable to what's happening outside yeah. where bio biodiversity is being threatened. In early 2016, scientists finally admitted that the so-called Planet Nine was causing our solar system to tilt, which may explain why the planets and constellations appear to be out of alignment. There is a general consensus that the spin axis is about six degrees off vertical. If their consensus is correct, then the assumption that an outside force is at play that is believed to be 10 times the mass of Earth may indeed be accurate. Astronomers think that at one time in the distant past, the so-called Planet Nine may have collided with another planet or object, possibly forming the asteroid belt before sending the world into an oblong orbit. The new data collected by astronomers actually substantiates the late Zachariah Sitchin's research of what he called the 10th planet or Planet X. Here then is some food for thought. In August of 2006, the International Astronomical Union downgraded Pluto's status from a planet to a dwarf planet. Pluto had been considered the ninth planet for as long as any of us can remember. So why would they suddenly decide to change its status? One plausible reason for the change was to allow the public to use the search term Planet 9 rather than Planet X, which already had a massive amount of information in the search archives. So what we have here is one more arsenal in the NASA book of tricks to divert your attention from what you need to know. Here is something you should know about the rogue planet. It wasn't the public who pegged the name Planet X. It was the government who named it long before they decided to change the planet status of Pluto. Once the links are connected, then things begin to become much clearer with respect to Planet X and the evidence that supports its existence. Here are the links that substantiate this claim. Over the last few years, Scientists, top scholars, and universities, in conjunction with other peer-reviewed uh, studies, have documented the fact that the Moon, Sun, and Earth are not in their proper positions, as things may seemingly be unraveling in our solar system. Now, I've gotten emails and messages from many of you who, through your own personal observation, have stated that this is exactly what you are witnessing at this time. There has been a change in weather, uh, seasons, tides, volcanic and tectonic activity. There is no doubt this is happening. If you frequent the Skywatch Media Facebook page, there are a number of video clips that document the tremendous changes that are now occurring. It's there for you to see if you care to take the time to watch and listen. For years, governments have been aware of an approaching celestial body, a brown dwarf star, and its 3,600 year cycle of devastation as outlined in ancient Sumerian cylinder seals and other ancient documents. This excerpt from the Washington Post article dated December 30th of 1983 substantiates this claim. Moreover, Dr. Jerry uh, Negenhauer, the IRAS chief scientist for California's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the director of the Polymer Observatory for the California Institute of Technology said in an interview the following, all I can tell you is that we don't know what it is. In 2011, a secretive and coded military drills were run in preparation for what's coming. In fact, the Elenin drill involved testing a massive worldwide network that would connect and go live in real time in the event a major worldly disaster were to take place. To boot, agencies such as NASA have already prepped their on and off world personnel for such an event. They are now conducting these drills on a regular basis 
and have been doing so since 2011. An excerpt uh, from a peer-reviewed paper by uh, Lorenzo Lorio, a uh, Cornell University astronomer, documents that the orbital pattern and tilt of the moon has changed, likely signifying the presence of a hidden celestial object. There it is. A Cornell University astronomer has admitted in this statement that they themselves are now looking into the possibility of Planet X type scenarios uh, being real, as they themselves are dumbfounded by the data. So is it possible NASA is hiding something? What about all of the newly discovered planets in this mini solar system which has been quietly announced just recently? What more can be said about what we know to be true? The proof is in the details. In closing, here is something that is strikingly odd that was recently posted to our Facebook page, which garnered a great deal of attention. On March 12th, the Cleveland EarthCam recorded a series of time frames, beginning at 8.05 p.m. and ending at 8.20. They appear to show the moon rising over Lake Erie, followed by an unidentified orb resembling a planet. There was considerable speculation as to what we had actually seen here. We know from investigating this phenomenon that it was not fabricated, because the frames are available for review in the EarthCam archives. So whatever it may actually have been was picked up by the camera and timestamped to the digital archives. There was some thought that it could be a lens reflection, but we couldn't find multiple instances of this happening every time that the moon would rise from this particular location. Coincidentally, one of our Facebook followers happened to run across a video that was posted back on February 23rd of 2016, which is almost one year ago to the date, which shows the same thing in time lapse. So there are definitely strange things happening on our planet that just cannot be fully explained. That is why it is so important to fully investigate and thoroughly examine everything that suggests the presence of a heavenly body. As I said, it's important to determine what is real and what isn't. This is how we can best present evidence to substantiate our findings of a rogue planet or a binary star system. The more we search for the truth, the better our chances of finding it, and then establishing a basis for its existence. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and visit our alternative media website for global news events as it happens. In the meantime, stay safe and keep looking to the sky.